in the shop doing maintenance projects, but my maintenance project isn't that. It is that. I'll show you what I'm up to today. Just going through regular maintenance on this machine. And typically every couple of years, I give it a paint job and such. Lay some grease onto it. Change that bearing over there. Because I take it out every year, so I like to change it through the winter and not when I'm out in the bee yard. But I'm trying to get some grease into some of these fittings. And I can't. So... I'm going to take this pin out just to clean it up to build to this knuckle, I guess, to be able to get some grease put into there. But because I'm looking nice and close, I'm noticing that this entire piece is cracked all the way around. You can see where I previously tried patching it. I couldn't get the stick in there because the bearings are very tight. It's cracked in the bottom, cracked down the side tractor on the top and if I leave it I risk this thing pulling apart on me while doing heavy work in a bee yard and I don't want to be fixing this thing when I should be working so it is winter this is the time to do these types of projects so it looks like I have a big project ahead of me right now so what I have to do is figure out how to take this thing apart. There's very little information on anything to do with these units, especially the operator's manual. There is no information on how these things are put together. So I'm just going to have to figure it out. It looks very simple. What I have to do is, I've already re replaced the seal on the top of here. You can see a bunch of oil and such hydraulic oil. It's because the seal went and is just giving a slow leak. So I've already taken this apart, replaced that seal. So what I have to do is take this assembly off again, bring the uh, lift, lift this boom, take this bearing apart to be able to lift this whole part off, take this off out of the bearing, and somehow thread, find out how they threaded the hydraulic hoses within the swivel attachment to be able to bring everything apart. So that's simple enough, I'll figure that out as we go. It's just a matter of taking things apart and then putting it back together. While I do it, I'm going to replace all these hydraulic lines. And I'm going to replace all these seals. I'm going to replace these bearings because I got them off. I'm going to take all these knuckles and everything apart. Replace all the bushings and do a complete overhaul on this unit. And kind of figure out how they kind of put this together, clean her up, and uh, get her going again. So over the next little while, probably over this next two or three weeks, this will be my job. Get all that figured up there and maybe work on some uh, replacements of relays and solenoids and get a backup motor for that thing just so I can if I have trouble again at the drop of a hat just replace things and not have to scramble to find parts or people that can help me assist on figuring this unit out and get me going in the middle of a honey flow. So now is time, now is time for a complete overhaul.